Hello there and welcome to the second Find and Run Robot screencast. Let's hit the break key to bring up FAR and in this video I'm just going to show you a little bit more slowly the process of searching for and launching programs. Let's say we wanted to launch Notepad so we type N-O-T and as we're typing we can see FAR is finding the results that match what I type and displaying them and trying to guess which one of these matches is most likely to be what we want and put that result up top. The first result can always be launched just by hitting enter. I'm going to hit the enter key now and you'll see that notepad launches. Okay, let's close this and hit the break key to bring it up far again. Now let's look at that in a little more detail. As I type N-O-T, let's stop there. It's trying to guess which program I'm most likely to want and by scoring all of the different results. Now how it actually assigns a score to each program is determined by several options that we'll take a look at later. Things like if the program starts with the letters I type, if the program has been launched recently, which Notepad has, so it gets a higher score, and we can take a look at how to adjust all of these things later. Now if you wanted to launch something further in the list, let's for example type PAD and hopefully it'll find Notepad, WordPad, okay. You can see it's guessed WordPad uh, is the next most likely program, probably because it's a shorter word than spades, which also has PAD in it, but also because it happens closer to the left-hand side of the word, etc. You can see it's not that much of a score difference. Anyway, you can tweak all of these things and you can um, favor certain kinds of files. For example, help files generally get scored less because you're more likely to want to launch executables. Now take a look at this score 473. Now I'm going to launch WordPad. Now I could just double click on this or I could arrow down and hit enter or I could just hit alt 2 to launch the second result. Now WordPad has launched. Let's close it. Let's hit the break key to bring back FAR again. And now let's type PAD again. Now you'll notice that WordPad has a higher score than it did before. That's because I've launched it recently and so FAR is fairly convinced that we're going to want to launch WordPad again. It still doesn't beat Notepad um, because I've launched Notepad multiple times. And in fact, if you end up launching a program and you don't like it having a score, you launched it by accident, you could right click and say remove item from history. And now you can see the scores drop back, back down because FAR now pretends that you've never launched WordPad before, so it has no reason to prefer it. Um, that's that's a, enough for this video. Let me just show you a quick couple of keyboard things in case you um, to help you use FAR a little more efficiently. You can always hit escape to select the current text and then type new stuff like NPAD. Now notice, let me just uh, illustrate one thing while I'm here, that the letters don't have to be contiguous. This happens actually frequently that people don't think in terms of note Pad, they might think NPD for Notepad. There are certain um, common acronyms like Microsoft Word, MSW, that this makes sense for. Now this does slow down searching a tiny bit, so you've got options to turn this off. Um, okay, so Escape selects the current text so you can type new stuff. If you're typing multiple words like Notepad, which all must get matched, you can hit Control Backspace to delete the last word or alt backspace does it as well and you can always close the window if you change your mind by hitting the break key again break comes up break brings it back escape will do the same thing escape selects the current text and then if you hit escape again closes the window helps you work with far very quickly bring it up close it down and that'll do it for this screencast